back oh my gosh i think my last vlog was like philippines which was 2018 basically today's vlog um i'm just going to like take you through my day even though i'm not really doing much and then there's like a few things that i just want to chat to you guys about so i started watching a few um youtubers who do like productivity and lifestyle content and vlogs and stuff and it just made me feel like that's the type of content i would want to put up on my channel because i do put up a lot of vlogs on this channel just not this year but i'm back like i said and covers of course when i have time to record and film those a lot of those youtubers have like to-do lists just to keep them productive or just keep track of what they want to get done for the day and i was doing these to-do lists for a good month i would say and then when i basically started maternity leave i was like i don't want to do to-do lists you know you don't always have to be 100% productive for your day you can just My relax balls are and do so big Hello, there's my husband. <laughs> yeah, so basically, I've been doing these to-do lists just to keep track of like things that I want to get done because sometimes I forget. And then I just go throughout my day and I take these things off. So I'm going to show you what my to-do lists look like. So this is my to-do list for today 15th of november i've started my vlog i'm gonna color in the circles today and now i'm gonna tidy and clean my room my man is hungry so i just have to warm up some food for him quick i'm like frustrated because i have to vlog with my phone because we packed away my camera battery and charger somewhere in storage and we can't find which box it is and you don't want to open all the boxes so i just have to deal with my phone for now until we move again thanks <laughs> it's a pleasure tell me if i put enough tabasco one more no it's nice thanks okay Every year, my parents always have to put up Christmas lights, like all over the house. So we just have to put that up quick. I can't do that, obviously. So I need my man to do that. And then. Oh, okay. You're not even on your toes. cigarettes then we need to charge this lamp thing and then 
I can tick things off of my list and go shower. So I've tidied my room. I've washed the dishes. I've charged, put that on. And I found the Christmas lights. So now I just need a shower and then update my baby book. I'm showered. My shirt is pretty tight now. I am like 30, 38 weeks pregnant, basically. My angry shirt, my angry shirt, my angry birds shirt that I was wearing earlier is actually my dad's because he's got quite a few very like wide shirts so that's helped me throughout my third trimester I crossed it out I showered washed my hair I feel so fresh but I'm pretty hungry I feel hungry so I don't know I might just have like maybe a Herbalife shake just to have like a snack or I'll eat a proper meal I have adobo for those Filipinos out there. My mom cooked adobo yesterday, so I might just eat that actually. I don't know. I just want to quickly give you an update of what's happening with the baby and like the delivery and the birth and everything. So we went to the doctor to last week on the 6th of November and he is still breech. We were hoping that he was going to turn in time. Just gotta make sure the shake <laughs> is mixed well. He's still breech. And the doctor said, I'm sorry I have to tell you this, but we're gonna have to book you for a cesarean because that baby's not gonna turn. Turns out his head is actually really big and that's probably why he's been struggling to turn there's just like no space it's his head so he was supposed to be born on the 28th of november that's his actual due date but then she was like let's induce you on the 23rd and then maybe you'll be born like the 24th of november if not the 23rd and i was obviously scared because all these other moms were telling me about what induction is like and uh, why not just wait for him to come out by himself, you know? So now I was getting paranoid after she told me I was going to be induced. So when we went back, I was like, are you sure I have to be induced? Like, because everyone's scaring me. Everyone's telling me these stories and it's just making me paranoid. And she said, trust me, I'm the doctor. Now, the visit from last week, she was like, okay, no, he's got to come out sooner. I don't want you to go into labor while he's breech. So... Let's book your cesarean for the 17th of November. After the 36 week visit, she was like, I wanna see you again the following week, which was Friday. That's when we went to see her again. And she was like, if I see anything that I don't like when you come back, we're gonna to have to take him out then, that day. So that was Friday the 13th. It's my brother's birthday. So I was like, please Lord, let everything be okay because I don't want my baby to have to be born on someone else's birthday. Although my brother was like, no, I, I'd love to have a birthday buddy. So we visited and he was hoping that something would be wrong so that I could give birth on Friday. But she was like, no, everything is fine. She measured the baby and like his head is the size of a 40 week old baby, basically. And he's only 38 now and then because he's running out of space his body isn't keeping up growth with his head so his body's actually a bit smaller than his head it's like sitting at 37 38 weeks so yeah he's just running out of space and getting very uncomfortable so my baby's gonna be born on Tuesday I'm kind of scared but so this is my little baby book. I got this from work. It was gifted to me for my birthday because I was like, I don't really know what I want for my birthday. And it was lockdown, COVID, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, you just gave me something for the baby. It's just this book and it has 
several pages where you can like fill in stuff and yeah i've just been like sticking my baby scans on other pictures of babies shake I'm gonna actually dish myself some proper food some of my mom's adobo so I wanted to explain like our living situation currently so I've got some covers that I did when we were staying in a flat so after we had gotten married we moved in together and then COVID happened and just, you know, life happens. Things just were getting a bit difficult. So we were just blessed enough that our parents could take us in for a bit of time. So we've just been staying with my parents in my old bedroom. When little baby is born, he will just have to squish with us in my bedroom. And then by the end of this year, towards the beginning of next year we will be moving into my parents other flat it's like down the road from where they stay i have an old vlog up where my cousin and i actually stayed there for like a few weeks on our own so we're super excited for that and it's such a blessing like we weren't actually expecting to move anytime soon but the tenants that are staying there are moving out end of december so we're gonna have our own place and yeah just it's gonna give us the space that we need because we're gonna have a baby here so my baby's gonna have his own room he's gonna have a nursery so I'm excited to get that sorted out I'm glad that my parents have helped us and his parents have helped us throughout this time but yeah I'm so excited and my food's ready okay it's my adobo that my mom cooked and yes she's got christmas themed tablecloth <laughs> i think i'm gonna end my vlog here while i'm eating um just because like i've done what i've needed to do and i think i'm just gonna rest now and watch movies i really feel like watching christmas movies and i don't think i want to vlog that i hope you enjoyed my vlog i don't know what else i'm gonna do today besides watch movies and probably take a nap i feel great that i'm back into this motion of creating content so i hope you enjoyed this video uh, like subscribe and comment please i hope you have a great day great evening wherever you are and i will see you in my next video bye Ooh. yeah